How many of you have been in a situation, again, where you've learned information was valuable, you're excited about it, and you didn't follow through, and it wasn't because you weren't interested, it was because you're overwhelmed. Who's been there before? Raise your hand and say, I. I. We want to help you to change that. The way you change that is by learning one simple skill. It's a skill you already have, but you may not be using it to its maximum ability. And tonight, rather than teach you the whole skill, let's just point it out. And the skill is called chunking. Chunking is the understanding that when you're first learning something, that something feels like many things. Case in point, you're gonna learn to drive a stick shift car and you're brand new at driving a car. Who can remember this experience? And was it overwhelming, yes or no? Why? Because driving a car today for most of you is one chunk of information. I'm gonna go drive, that's it. Because most of what you've done, you got cognitive knowledge about, you repeated enough with enough emotion, you did it enough in your body, now all of those complex things happen and what you call it is just driving. But the first time you were driving, it was a lot of different activities. I can remember, they called me speed racer because I couldn't figure out how to get anything going. I got in the car, you know, okay, I accelerated, brake, got bat, watched the road, and I'm supposed to do this too? <laughs> and watch the rear view mirror? No, 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 they, this ain't happening, right? Because it was overwhelming. Because what it was, was one chunk of you was figuring out how to accelerate, one part of you brake, another part of you's gotta watch the road, another one's watching the rear view mirror, another one's gotta figure out the timing of moving this in. But after a while, it just became driving. And most of you drive today, literally, on automatic pilot. Because many of you, how many of you have ever done this? You're driving along, and all of a sudden, your mind goes somewhere else, and all of a sudden, you go, who's been driving? <laughs> who's had that experience before? Say, I. I. Well, who's been driving is your subconscious mind. The part of you that makes your heart beat 100,000 times a day without you having to think about it even when you're sleeping. And your subconscious absorbs way more when you're in a position of total absorption like you are here. Immersion. More than your conscious mind does. But what will make you confident and help you is if you can design a few triggers or a few ways to take all this math stuff and break it into the way most people learn. Most people think one, two, three, many. They get past three chunks and they get a bit overwhelmed. So we have these seven tools that we're giving you, these seven pillars. The first one we spent the morning on was this concept of taking stock. And there are these five questions. That's the first pillar. Once that's in place, now we focus on the second one, innovation and marketing, which we're going to touch on tomorrow and we touch a little bit on today. Then we go to the third one. It's strategy versus tactics. It's a bit of, you know, what is this education marketing? It's all the things you're starting to learn right now that can give you a huge competitive advantage. How many agree the content you just learned could give you a huge advantage, implement it. How many would agree with that? Say aye. aye. 